also give special recognition to someone special who even at the time people were trying to define cadres, they already gave definition to the cadre. Someone who has been tested and this institution is not only able to benefit from the approving nature as a cartridge, but they are going to teach comrades who are emerging as politicians to understand what it means to be a cartridge. Mm. Someone who has confronted the status quo with a tyrannic regime of chance and A man of courage, a man who has refused to bar his omission when the interest of the people is at stake. And he's no other person. But well, your humble chairman at this time. <laughs> <laughs>
the Blue Revolution, yeah. and reinstitute the grassroots nature of this movement. Mm -hmm. We say, <clears throat> as the children of India would have done, even in their stubborn nature, but peacefully, to ensure that they stood are coming Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> and if you read this thing, you learn about the civil disobedience when they needed freedom. <laughs> Having brought to bear the true definition of democracy and speedily witnessing mismanagement, this is the program that is ushering in the chairman that is going to lead us to that process that will foundation our region. You are welcome. And uh, do. thank you all so much, comrades. You listen to comrades Emmanuel Tikoti Swain, a very brilliant and remarkable revolutionary speech. You have a distinguished point of coming. And so, like Thomas Sakara will say, that a soldier who has political consciousness is a potential bandit. And so, we in the city will say, a revolutionary movement without women representation and participation involvement is incomplete. On the basis of that, understanding the role that women play in liberation in Africa, the CDC is very conscious of the role of women, and that's why this function let us zoom in one of the revolutionary personalities in the women preceding or the women's limit of our movement. Gave a very powerful position statement in this gallery. What else we got? Manda!
they need some fire. And we are ready to take it to them. But in our top years, they never gave up this. When in three months, there were so many protests. And Mr. Chairman, we are here, the women are ready to take the front stage. We need to tell them that we are ready and we are not stupid. That a mistake we have made. They care our people in our position. Absolutely nothing has been done when the Congress has not had the issue. We need results, we need action. This party is not a sleeping party. This party is a party that moves. We need to move and teach the people to move. For my SG, you know, Jefferson from Akochi, but this is so hard brave today. Protect the state. Let's be part of it. Yes. So, hello. Ah. So, I want to say, but thank you, Mayor. Or oh, what's my mayor? What will be your mayor? Oh, so, yeah. Thank you. Because what 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 now we came from our campaign for two o'clock in the morning and we had some burning issues. The mayor was able to talk to us up to 3 a.m. It's not easy to see a man, a young man living every other activity, but the devote is left to our people. Mayor want to say thank you. We appreciate you and we'll continue to appreciate you. Amanda!
Hoffman, who just pioneered and stoganeered the revolutionary battle cross, is intended to give our struggle an identity where the people's liberation has come from, where we are, and where we are headed to. On the basis of that Congress, at this time, it is the revolutionary honor and privilege to now present to you the man who incubated and progenitated into the liberal democracy, why is he known today as Liberia's biggest mass based on the national liberation movement? The intended to provide a coalition for democratic change. So, the man who is going to present to us the acting chairman of our movement, the man who is going to present to us the man who is going to lead a charge against reactionary forces, the man who is going to commandeer the militants to the battlefield in solidarity to our people in Brentley County, the man who is going to show that the battle remains supreme in the hearts and souls of the indigenous masses of our people. Yeah. That man is not a person else, but a father, a leader, a teacher, and a revolutionary founding father figure yeah. of the intangible model coalition for democracy. So, so may we all increase our hearts to welcome the Russian father of our revolution. This is due to be all alive.
weeks ago, our brother, who is our chairman, former chairman Molo, is on the post. And of course, the party will be supreme, the party has to move on. So, uh, the matter of the of democratic change. So! We come here to welcome a full name member mm -hmm. of this institution. Mm -hmm. Our former Secretary General. Mm -hmm. I know in our history, we believe in him. I remember when I gave you your first job in this family. And I believe in you. I work with you. Now you are back. We, on behalf of the Congress for Democratic Change and the Coalition, want to say again thank you for accepting that you are coming to recalibrate. You cannot be a woman and be a man at the same time. Oh, our partisans. We are political party. Most of you did the claim that you are revolutionaries. But a true revolutionary sees the revolution. He doesn't see nothing else. So, if you are a partisan, we are not social club. We are not social club. We are not interpreted institution. This is the people's trouble. We must make sure that the people's trouble continue. Eighteen years of success story must continue that forward march. I say this to you because our people depend on us. So I want you to join me to support Honorable Jan Kako to lead the forward march as a Acting chairman. In the interim, who know what it's going to be? Thank you. Thank you for answering the national call. We need your support. To support the gentleman. We need your support to support the party. We have to make sure that in the future, in the near future, that we have committed people. Like I said before, the revolution was small, but committed. And we won the revolution. And then we expand. We lose the revolution. Now, a lot of people leave it to spring again. And we shall fight again. I want to speak to you. Yesterday, our application is back. Fellow sedition and coalition, we are a political party. Mm -hmm. Either you agree or you don't. We are not an integrated institution. You cannot be in 
another uh, institution while you are uh, 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 in uh, 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 the matter coalition, we got to choose one. Yes. One fight. Yes. For him to be successful, we have to come together and galvanize. The only friend we have is the magic coalition of the Democratic Church. So! This is our call match. Please don't forget, you cannot be a girl and your boy at the same time. We are what we are, the Congress for Democratic Change and the Coalition for Democratic Change. So, let us be mindful that yet we have lost so many of our own brothers and sisters. We cannot forsake them. There's nothing we have for this Congress for Democratic Change. Do not allow people to have your mind. This is the people's struggle. Mm. And this is the struggle we ascribe to. Mm. The struggle that bring that, that bring about peace. The struggle that brought about brotherhood. This is the struggle. Mm -hmm. Whether you are new or old, mm -hmm. know that. This place is where we all gather for our former march. Ganga, you have a responsibility to teach us to be a boy or a girl. And that's your responsibility. And we will support you. Make sure that you are successful and bring us together. We are members and partisan of the Congress for Democratic Change and Coalition for Democratic Change. So, we are nothing else. Please make up. Please make us to be what we are. Do not separate us. We are ready to work with you for you to be successful. I remember when I said, he's a quiet guy. He's going to be the Secretary General. A lot of people, oh, no, 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 why, 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 why? Today again, we are here. I know who you are. And I know what you can do. This is a chance. You can see that succession of people, so many were successful and some were not, in making sure that we complete the fall march. Where is our end? We are what we are. And you want to make this party unite and be strong. We'll be with you. Distinguished partisans. This is your son. This is all
matter of the fifth year now in our generation. And so you listen to the Arrowhead movement. A man who is always in the arena of battles. He clearly told you that you don't be a political amphibian. Mm. Or better still be a political hermaphrodite. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. <laughs>
Teaching TV, the IT chairman, is about to speak. Teaching is about to be going on. Continue to share this vlog for me. Remember the hard table here? So we we'll like to use this opportunity to extend thank to you, Mr. President, and the Citizen National Executive Committee for the decision to call me to service, to serve as the acting national chairman of the Congress of Democratic Change. So! By extension, the coalition for democratic change. So! I'm very humbled by this decision because there are hundreds of men qualified to hold this position in this party because this movement is a movement of men, it's a movement of intellectuals, but to be chosen among all of these powerful men and women, I'm very happy, I'm very humbled, I'm very thankful, I'm very grateful on behalf of my wife. My children, my entire family, we are very, very grateful. Mm -hmm. I remember in 2015, I was called upon to serve as National Secretary General as we knew the world in 2017 elections, in which we served, and then we successfully had those elections, defeated the winning the party. Today, we have come again to say all oh, your, your auspices, Mr. President, mm -hmm. that we will not. That we do not intend to be a disruptive mm. opposition, mm. but that will squarely lie in the hands of the ruling United Party. Mm. Mm. We do not intend to be a disruptive opposition, but that lies in the hands of the ruling United Party. So, because we are all aware. And the victory of the United Party is to be the margin of error. It will be the margin of error, so while we do agree that they have a legal mandate, they do not necessarily have a popular mandate. <laughs> so we'll be calling on them to govern themselves in line with the Constitution of Liberia and all the statutory laws of the Republic. Now, and we want to point out here today that we have come to serve this movement and we will endeavor to keep the United Party government in check because as you can see in the last two months of the government, the government is already proceeding wrongly. People are dying under the bullets of the police, which is not happening in the six years of His Excellency for the job man we have in leadership. <laughs> the right to peaceful assembly, the right to protest, the right to demonstrate, the right to express your grievances are content to use large bullets in the two months, in less than two months of the government of the Union Party. That is totally unacceptable, like the former president said the last time. It's totally unacceptable for police to use love to kill citizens when they are expressing their grievances. Because the expression of grievance is the right guarantee on the Liberian Constitution. We also want to send a caveat to the government that you governed the country for 12 years, you created various institutions across the government. He decided to let ten the current president of Liberia, Joseph Yuman Baka, was the president of the Senate, and so he's a signatory to all of the laws that created all of this institution. RREA, Niteko, LTA, and all of the agencies that have tenure. These institutions were created not under the CDC government. These laws were created not under the CDC government. So it is very, very counterproductive against the laws and against the constitution to attempt to violate these very laws that your government created in 12 years of your leadership. So we want to call the government, we want to set a caveat that the government should desist from harassing Liberian citizens who are perceived to be supporters of the CDC because when we talk about in 2018, the president should be dismissed from 
every office in the country. And we follow that mandate, and we're here today. We can prove that no Liberia was dismissed on account of supporting the Unity Party or any other political party in the country. No. We expect the Unity Party to proceed as such not to attempt to dismiss civil servants or government employees in ministries, agencies, and state owned enterprises as they are proceeding all around. And we want to say here that we we'll continue to we'll document the government every step of the way in its excesses in the governance process. And we also want to point out here that we do support, as a party, we do support the fight against corruption, to support the, the fight for asset recovery. But what is in the caveat that the fight against corruption, asset recovery, all of these things cannot be limited to six years of the city's government. And uh, asset recovery goes far beyond even the 12 years of the unity party. If the, the, the current government actually understands the true definition of asset recovery, Endeavor to actually do a deep soul session, put together a technical team that will do a lot of work. And we expect the government to respect the rules, to respect the laws of the country. And so we are very happy that officials in that these agencies that have tenure have challenged the government attempt to remove them illegally from these offices at the Supreme Court. And we'll be, we'll be following or we'll be backing these uh, institutions to make sure that we do allow all of the laws in the country to make sure that the, the, the usually party government will conform to the rules and regulations of, of, gov of government. Uh, in conclusion, we will be endeavoring to work with all stakeholders of this party, all our coalition partners. We will be working on your leadership, Mr. President, to ensure that we put together a united opposition that will keep the government in check. Every step of the way, we will engage the government, we engage the national partners to ensure that the government does not go off track. But it seems the government, the government's behavior at it, they launch a coup d'etat. The takeover, the transition in, in January 2018 or January 27, 2018 was not a coup d'etat. It was a peaceful democratic transfer of power. So attempting to uproot and the governance processes that were in place that you put in place in 12 years of your leadership that we build upon attempting to uproot these things is totally contrary to the rule of law. And we will we, 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 we take serious exception to those, to those steps and we'll be ensuring that you conform to the laws of the country. Having said that, and you know, Mr. President Stella Barrow, um, Honorable Secretary General and uh, members of the National Executive Committee will stop here thus far in the next few days. We'll be engaging in various consultations and to determine the next steps of this movement. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you for their party. Thank you. Thank you for taking us to another level. Thank you. Thank you for defeating our enemies. Thank you. I believe you will be defeated. Amen. I believe you will be defeated. Yes. I believe you will be defeated. Amen. I believe you will be defeated. Amen. I believe that you will fight on our behalf. I say thank you. I say thank you. Thank you. We are about to lift up our hands. We ask the Lord to be there on the travel of those vehicles. We ask the Lord to be there on the travel of those papers. Lord, I like guess, as they are about to leave, we come and bury us so we are living, Lord. Carry us safe and glory to be another time. We give you that praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen